to buffer or not to buffer? That is the question that I've gotten hundreds of times. So, decided to load up some buckshot loads with and without identical, identical load data, just with and without buffer. We're going to start out the first video, we're going to shoot at 50 meters. Then uh, we're going to incrementally move back in, in some future episodes to see if my theory is correct that, um, <clears throat> that the further you back up from the target, the more difference buffer will make in your buckshot loads. But um, knowing what I know from the 50 meter shoot, <clears throat> the uh, buck kicker choke tube that is designed to shoot buckshot didn't much care whether I had buffer in it or not. Okay, guys, stand by for the video. We set up at 50 meters today to, um, to shoot these buffered and non-buffered buckshot loads. All were shot out of my Stoger M3000. And we were using the buck kicker standard full choke tube which is what I'll be using on all of these experimental shots that we'll be doing with the buffer versus no buffer. Now, all that I was shooting were either Hornady hardcast or my hardcast, powder-coated hardcast. Now, I don't think the number four buck was powder-coated. It was just standard hardcast treated with alox and graphite. So, at 50 meters, it just flat didn't make any difference. Uh, it really didn't. The gun patterned great with both loads. And buffer is expensive. So, um, without further ado, let me take you to the range and show you what happened when Re Rachel and I shot these loads at 50 meters. First shot without, then with. Check out these patterns. Not bad with or without buffer today. And for today's test, guys, all shots are shot through my Stoger M3000 with the True Glow Triton red dot actually it's red, blue and green and we're shooting through the Kicks Buck Kicker choke tube in standard full configuration okay buffer versus no buffer had a lot of folks ask me about that if it was worth the aggravation so we got several shots lined up here. We're going to give it a try, guys. This is a brand new Chidite hull primed. We got 28 grains of uh, 800X. And we've got 41 number four buck over a flex seal. And of course, no buffer in this round. Round number two is the identical same data, only we have Ballistic Products original buffer. Stand by for the shots. And baby, that is a man load right there now here. I'm not as efficient as my broken is. Okay, 41. Okay, Rachel gets 31 of 41 with uh, at 50 meters with no buffer of the number four buck. All right, let's try it with the buffer. Again. <laughs> that's the I use that same data in the um, 
in the Remington Nitro holes and have no problems. Those, uh, those thin wall Chedite holes just can't handle it. I loaded those in there so that my so that everybody could see what's in them. Wow, it sure looked like it grouped them better. It was 31 again. It made no difference. It sure it looks like it grouped them better. Thirty-one with number four buck. It made no difference, unless it looks. I have to look at the video footage. I think this one may have been a little bit tighter. All right, for these two shots, buffer versus no, no buffer, we have a brand new Chedite Hull fifteen double alt Hornady. Hornady's buy at the store hard cast twenty-eight eight hundred X fifteen double alt Hornady. FS12 flex seal, one quarter inch fiber wide, and covered in Ballistic Products original buffer. Identical same data here, only no buffer. Folks, I will be shooting the non-buffered double alt Hornady first, followed by the buffered, just like we did the first time. All right, here we go. Looks like we got 12.15 on the non-buffered load. What a pattern. Two there, two there, two here. Two. Look at that pattern, boys and girls, and no buffer. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm sure you could cover with your hand right there under the bullseye. Of This is actually 32 caliber. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 10, 11, 12, 13. It's, you are correct, honey. It is 13. All right, let's shoot the buffered round. Well, that first non-buffered shot with the Hornady double loss was impressive. Let's see how it does with the buffered. Eleven eighty-seven, just under 1,200 foot. Well, guys, had one nick there. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's a double strike. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen. And if you're looking at the group, the non buffered uh, actually grouped better in this test. This is a blind test, guys. A lot of folks had asked. I know that where I really see the more difference is at distance, 70, 80 yards here. We're at 50 meters. But for anybody hunting inside, 50 meters or inside, I'll tell you what, first two sets of test shots, it has made really no difference at all. Buffer versus non. Let's see what we can do with the triple alts. Okay, guys. Buffered versus non. We're going to shoot a couple of triple alts. Chedite brand new. Hole, 28 of 800X. Here we have a BP, a Ballistic Products X12X seal with a one half inch FC fiber, cushion wide, pushing 10 of my hard cast powder coated 36 cal triple alts covered in Ballistic Products original buffer. And the first shot is going to be exact same data, my hard cast powder coated with no buffer. Eight, eight seventy one. Oh Lord, what a pattern! Holy cow! Well, I see one. That's. I can't tell if that's a double hit or not. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I see eight of ten, barring that being a double strike. We're going to call it eight. Great day. What a pattern, though. Now, the old Stoger, the old Stoger, it ain't that old, but my Stoger loves triple alts. All right, let's see how the buffer load does. 
buffered triple alt. I guess from what I'm seeing so far, buffer has been irrelevant at 50 meters out of this gun with that butt kicker choke tube. And I was just talking to Rachel about why why is there no really no difference um, in the patterns here at 50 meters with or without the buffer. And I believe it's that buck kicker choke tube. That thing is designed to shoot buckshot. That's what it's designed to do. And so uh, the buck kicker choke don't care whether it's got buffer in it or not, especially at 50 meters so far. Let's see how we do with this triple alt load. We already know this one loves triple alts. Twelve twenty-six. That's a true reading right there. I figured we usually get about twelve hundred foot per second out of this load with twenty-eight of eight hundred X. Okay. My sweet daughter Rachel told me I've got all ten on this one. So there's our first difference where the buffer actually improved a little bit on uh, on the pellet. All ten pellets were not only on paper, but that looks to me to be fourteen inch circle would have all ten powder coated of my hard cast powder coated pellets here at 50 meters how about that that was awesome wasn't it well folks thank you for joining us for the buffer versus no buffer first video at 50 meters I'm probably going to back up and we'll do a shoot at 75 meters 81 yards and uh, and see how it does at that extended distance and we'll see what kind of difference it makes because what the buffer does is keeps the pellets from deforming. Uh, basically, after you shoot a soft pellet buckshot round, the pellets are almost square sometimes whenever they come out of the barrel. What the buffer does is keep it from compressing so bad and keeps the pellets rounder as they exit the barrel. But I think in uh, 50 meters and inside, the buck kicker choke cube is definitely a great equalizer. Hope y'all enjoyed the video guys. We'll be back with the next one very very soon. Bye bye. We would like to thank all of our BRO patrons. You folks help make this world go round. Thank you so much. May the Lord bless you.